Hi friends, today let's learn how can we reduce the file of an excel file from close to around like 16.4 MB to down to like less than 50 KB. Trust me you can achieve this. So before we do that first thing you need to know is that the file is in the tabular format that means we have rows and columns and we don't have anything on the blanks in the top rows or anything on the right. Okay so having said that I'll just open up this file this file is downloaded from one of the website so you can you can pick any of the sample files you have and this is this data basically contains about series reference period uh, data value status dollars etc etc so this is in csv so let's try it in a different way so first step is that i'm going to save this csv file into an excel file so how how am i going to do that go to file save as and this is my folder I'll save save it as Excel so I'll change this format to Excel that's it and if I go back and check the file it came down to 3.18 MB right I'm I'm sure you must be knowing this trick if not if you convert CSV to Excel this will reduce the file size a lot and you must be knowing another trick as well let's change this from xlsx to xlsb i'm going to click on save as excel and then xlsb i'm going to write the file name as save to excel binary now do you see so the file size came down from 16 MB to 3.18 MB and now it is down to 830 KB right so this drastically reduced the file okay so this is pretty much the simple approach let's get into the much more detail level and the tricky one let's say you have this data set and you want to have a pivot table of this so once you do a pivot insert pivot table I'm gonna create a new sheet and uh, just to confirm I'm working on the binary file and what, what should I bring in I'll bring the units to the row and some period I'm just randomly pulling out the rows and columns okay and data value something like this and then I'm gonna save if I go back the file size got increased actually doubled so we had like 800 KB now we turned down to 1.66 so how can I bring this down so the first thing what you can do here is so what whenever you create a pivot table it creates a cache in the Excel file so when I say cache it ca captures whatever the options the pivot table options you have mentioned in its memory we can check that out and we can make that as not to save those data set so if you go to let me bring it back again click on the pivot table go to analyze and then click on options and here to the right you will see like layout tools and filters printing etc click on the data and by default save source data with the file will be checked so what you need to do is just uncheck that particular option and then click OK and let me bring it here we have 1.66 MB let's see the magic I'm gonna save this file if I go back the file size got reduced to 840 so it brought it back to this original position as if there is no pivot at all but there is a catch here whenever you update the data this pivot table will not update so what you need to do is once if you have unchecked that option of save data source you need to come back and then hit a refresh and then once you hit a refresh and then save that works that really works for you right so this is one of the way to handle the data and you can see it's 840 KB is there another way can I bring this down 840 furthermore yes you can if you're looking for only the pivot only the analysis of the data sets then I would suggest you to create a new file let me create a new Excel file here real quick I'm gonna say data analysis I'm gonna keep this as xlsx because I don't mind having it that way 
let me open the tab all i need is just the pivot so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create an external connection to this file so it's the same thing go to insert click on pivot and by default we used to select the table or a range so this time we are going to select the second option use an external data source then click on choose connection so this will bring you a lot of things don't get confused all we need is the excel file which has the data so just click on browse for more go to the path so my path is here and the file what i'm looking for is let's say save as data i'm going to take excel sx but you can take any of these files click on open that shows up the list of sheet names what we have so this is the sheet i'm looking for first row data contains column headers yes it does click on okay and then okay this is going to take some while few seconds because it has to read the file from another workbook i'm going to bring the data value here group and status or something and then i'm going to save this file and let's see how what is the file size of data analysis now not bad right so we came down from 840 to 645 so good thing is we don't have the data here we only have the pivot table so let us try the trick what we tried some time back let us uncheck the file with not to save the data source so i'm going to click on pivot go to analyze click on options come to the right and then check save source data with the file i'll click okay and then save the file so if i go back to the folder you see 18 kb trust me we came down from 16 mb file to 18 kb that's a drastic reduction and whenever you update this file the file which i'm linked to so automatically this file gets updated once you hit refresh isn't this cool if you like this video please like and do subscribe to my channel thank you